Hi, I'm Diane Grover, cosmetic chemist trainer and assessor here at the Institute of Personal Care Science. Today, I'm going to show you how to put together a reparative dry hair oil. Now let me show you just how easy it is. Today I'm gonna to show you how to create a really nourishing reparative hair oil that's great for dry, damaged or frizzy hair. You can use this on the ends of your hair to smooth out the ends and restore some moisture after straightening your hair, or just use it as a leave-in treatment to really nourish the ends of your hair, which is where we tend to see the most damage. It's really conditioning and packed with strengthening ingredients, which are important when we're trying to repair damaged hair and prevent from further damage. It's super easy. It's a one-phase formula, so you can whip this up in your lunch break. Okay, so I'll start with some isomal laureate. Uh, as the base of my formula. Isomal laureate is a really lightweight emollient that feels like silicon. It feels soft and silky on the hair without weighing it down. It absorbs really quickly into the hair so it doesn't feel heavy to touch and it provides a subtle gloss without uh, any excess shine or greasiness. The reason that volatile lipids make up the majority of hair oils is they act as carriers for the active ingredients to the hair. Then the volatile lipid evaporates off the hair shaft, meaning that we can apply some really amazing hair oils to the shaft of the hair without leaving behind any excess oil on the hair. To that, I'll add some argan oil. Argan oil is amazing on the hair because it is rich in essential fatty acids, which deeply nourish the hair and help maintain moisture balance. It contains vitamin E and polyphenols, which protect the hair from oxidative stress and environmental damage. It also helps to smooth the hair cuticle, reducing frizz and flyaways while enhancing softness and manageability. Now for some jojoba oil, which is a light liquid wax that doesn't weigh the hair down, making it ideal for leave-in formulations. Jojoba oil contains a balanced blend of fatty acids and wax esters that provide hydration and smoothness to the hair. This is caprylic capric triglycerides, which is derived from coconut oil. It is a lightweight, non-greasy emollient that provides a barrier to help reduce moisture loss from the hair, preventing further dryness and brittleness. It also helps to distribute other active ingredients evenly across the hair shaft. To that, I'll add some amazing actives. I've chosen Alga Pure, which is a rich bio oil derived from chestnut tree sap. It's full of omega-9s, which help to protect and strengthen the hair fiber. And some Shersamol OLO Ester, which is naturally derived non-oil emollient. This contributes to luster, softness, and lubricity in the hair. And now for some essential oils to make your hair smell amazing. I have a mix of rosemary and cedarwood to prevent breakage and split ends, improve the hair elasticity, reduce brittleness and reinforce the hair strand. And last, my antioxidant with some mixed talc ferro to prevent oxidation of my plant oils. I'm gonna whisk that together to combine and then pour it off. I'm using a pump bottle for easy dispension so that we don't put too much oil on the hair. And then that's it. We have this beautiful, lightweight, non-greasy, amazing smelling hair oil for dry, damaged hair. See, and that's how easy it is to put together a reparative hair serum. If you like today's formula, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Don't forget to subscribe to receive notifications on videos just like this and email us at info at personalcarescience.com.au for more formulas. Happy formulating.